Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey and... Queen. We're going to some kind of place. What is it? Vintage market of some sort. Vintage market, ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Vintage, <laughs> Vintage market over at the uh, other Three, three ships, ships location. I, I don't even, it's like on Jack Rabbit Road or something like that. I, what do they call it, the hilltop location? Yeah, the hilltop location. So uh, we're probably going to have to drive there, find no parking, come back here and park and walk the two miles there because we have a feeling there's going to be a, a parking issue, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's go shop. Almost feels like we're cheating. <laughs> Okay, so we've been all over the frickin' place, and I decided that we should go for lunch, and we decided to come to Stockpot. Uh, we're right underneath the speaker, so it's probably just screaming uh, the violent fence, but... There we go. Pretty baby. Okay, kids. That was a very tasty lunch at Stockpot, as it always is. I just tuck and rolled grandma. She's gonna be uh, sitting on the couch now with the cat. And I decided that it's only three o'clock, 91 degrees, feels like 101. Perfect time to go out and walk around the woods with a bunch of heavy gear. <laughs> dumb monkey's gonna be dumb. So let's go do that. Just about to cross the magic threshold. Ah, okay, so we're here. I don't see anything glaringly obvious. Okay, moving on. All right, so that guy was just like right there. Now he's right there. He's very leery of me. I'm not gonna bother you, dude. Just here for the pictures. All right, well, at least there was one bird, right? Okay, so not a lot out here today. I've only seen two yellow-crested night herons. And I mean, well, that's fine. You know how I always say, it doesn't matter if I'm out here by myself and that I don't see anything. I just get to walk around and enjoy the day. And, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Just because I only see two doesn't mean that there are only two. So anyways, yeah, it's perfectly fine. I see that there is at least a bird up in the bird trees over yonder. And now I just spotted what looks like might be a great blue heron way over on the shore there. The problem is, is that the grass is getting pretty tall. So I think it's on the other side of the, uh, of the grass compared to where the path is. So I don't think that I'm gonna be able to shoot it. Okay, so one bird, a great egret over there in the branch. There was a yellow crested night heron that was right here. That's the second time now today I've walked up on one that was like 10 feet away from me, but I didn't see it and he flew away. Ooh, and there goes a flyer. Not too bad. Okay, so it was a great blue on the grass. And as I came close to him, he took off over there. He's over on the other side of the shore here. And as I was walking past him, a green heron flew away. Oh, there he goes. It's all a part of it. And there's a yellow crested night heron over here. Turn around and look right at me. And he's now out of sight. Okay, I got a bunch. Dumb monkey has hit his maximum already. It is damagingly hot. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got some banger pictures already. So I'm heading back to the forerunner now because I'm gonna end up with heat stroke. And, and nobody needs that. So yeah, let's get back and get in that freaking AC. Whew, okay kids, that was brutal. I 
didn't even think it was that friggin' hot out. I mean, it's only like 90-ish degrees. So, oh, holy shit. I mean, I barely did half a loop and I, I thought I was gonna frickin' heat stroke out. I'm glad that I decided to only go as far as the, the little water crossing and then turn around and go back. And then I went into the woods so that I was in the shade. And even then I had to stop on the path and like dump water on myself. But holy crap, man. <laughs> I mean, I've been out when it's hotter than that, but I don't know why the hell that was so brutal, but it was. Fruitful it ended up being, you know, a good bit of birds for me to, to take some banger pictures of, and I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so I'm cool enough now that I feel like I'm not going to pass out from heat stroke. So we're going to go home. It's 4.30. That gives me more than enough time to, to edit this video for today and get it off to you before Sven Gulli. So we're going to do that. And that being said, that's all I got for you today. It was another fun day. We went out and, and uh, let's, we went to, well, we went to the really, really tiny little thing at, at the three ships uh probably like four or five different different stalls of people there with like old clothes so nothing spectacular uh, then we went to the antique mall that we haven't been to in a long time and it was completely different there was so much shit that was different in there it was like going to a new mall so that was kind of fun and then i suggested we go for lunch or actually then we went to the bookstore because she wanted to get a couple of books and then we went to Stockpot for lunch, and then I dumped her off and came out here to heat stroke myself at Pleasure House Point. And then, like I said, we've got lemon bars for dessert. Plus, I've got food. You know, we both have that leftover pasta from last night for dinner. So, yeah, another great day. Don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Don't know what the weather's going to be like. Um, if I do anything, it's going to be earlier in the day rather than later in the day because, holy shit, it was hot as frick out here. So, okay, that's it. That's all you get for today. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.